So the first thing I always do before I apply quite a heavy foundation is prime my skin using my MAC Fix Plus. This has glycerin in it so it helps your foundation to stick to your skin and it's also really hydrating. Now you want to go in with a glowy base. Today I'm using the MAC Strobe Cream. You could also use L'Oreal Lumi Magique or some other kind of glowy primer. Now I'm just going to take my favourite liquid for coverage foundation and this one of course is MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW10. This is a very pale foundation but it's got quite a bit of um, coverage to it. So I really love using it for going out. This foundation also has really good staying power as well. So it's great if you want it to last all night or if you're going to wear this during the day for sort of longer than eight hours. Now the trick to achieving quite a glowy sort of non cakey full coverage look is to not use too much liquid foundation. I've used a very high coverage foundation in sort of a low quantity and then I'm going to go in with a full coverage concealer after to conceal any areas that need it. But you don't want to go in and use like two or three pumps of your favourite full coverage foundation to achieve the coverage that you want because you're going to end up looking quite cakey. Now I'm going with my favourite foundation brush at the moment which is my little sort of round top kabuki from the Furless Couture Brush Collection. And I'm using my MAC Fix Plus as well to wet the brush. It just helps to give a slightly glowier finish to the foundation. And it also helps to sort of add a bit more moisture to your skin as well. Now I'm going in with my favourite full coverage concealer. This one is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the colour Chantilly. If you followed me for a while you'll know this is my holy grail. Now I'm just going to apply this concealer to the areas that need a lot of extra coverage like this little spot here and under my eyes as well because this is quite a brightening concealer. I also like to put a bit of this product down my nose because I have a few freckles and things on my nose that I like to cover up if I'm doing like a full coverage look. Now I'm just taking this little, um, it's like a small tapered kind of face brush by Furless Cosmetics and just buffing in all my concealer. Now I'm going in with quite a finely milled light sort of setting powder. I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light which is a very very pale powder um, but it certainly doesn't add any coverage or anything so you're not going to look too cakey by adding powder on top especially because this has kind of a bit of a glow to it. So I'm using a really big powder brush by Phyllis Cosmetics. And I'm just switching back to the smaller brush for underneath my eyes. Now just for one final step, I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW10 and just putting a little of this powder only on the areas that need the coverage. Um, I'm doing a very sort of subtle building up of coverage. I could have gone really heavy with my foundation and it would have covered pretty much everything I needed it to. But I wanted to do sort of light layers and just kind of build up the products um, in the areas that need it because it really does help to keep your makeup looking lighter. So I'm only putting this very full coverage powder so I've got like a little bit of a pimple here um, on my chin that is just really obvious. I mean the bump, unfortunately you can't get rid of the bumps, any pimple bumps, but you can certainly cover up any redness. I have a little bit of redness down the bottom of my cheek here as well. So I'll just put a little bit of powder on those areas to kind of cover that up. I'm just putting a little bit of this around my nose too because I do tend to like wipe my nose and stuff, I have really bad hay fever at this time of year, so I find I need a little extra coverage along there just to help that out. 
Now the last step, this is actually what I would do after I've applied my bronzer, my blusher, um, highlight, everything. I would go in with a sort of uh, finishing powder. So the one I would normally use is my Hourglass Ambient Light Powder in Diffused Light. This is different to Ethereal Light. Ethereal Light isn't as um, glowy. It's a little bit, it's a lot lighter. It's definitely more of a setting powder and this one I would say is more of a finishing powder. So this gives your skin a beautiful glowy luminosity. It helps to blend out all of your bronzer and blush and highlight work as well. Um, so I apply this product with a sort of dense, sort of like a denser powder brush but kind of not a kabuki brush either. This one is by Fearless Cosmetics. It's in the same couture um, brush kit as the, my foundation brush and this one is perfect for buffing and finishing powders because it really does give you that like airbrushed but in real life kind of effect. So what I might do is I'm just going to go ahead and pop like some bronzer and blush and everything on so I can show you this product in action because I definitely tend to use it after I've applied all of those other products. Right, so I've put all of my coloured products on my face and now I'm going in with the Hourglass Finishing Powder, the Ambient Lighting Powder and Diffuse Light just to kind of blend everything together and really just overall set the complexion. So I like to get quite a decent amount on my brush and then do little circular buffing motions. This helps to kind of blur away like pores and any sort of imperfections on your skin. It's just really like playing with light. It just sort of deceives the eye. Now, if you want to go one step further, I sometimes go in with my Guerlain Meteorites as well. This is a, such an optional extra step, um, but I'll do it for you today so you can kind of see it in action. Um, I had one subscriber call these magic balls because she's like, as soon as you put them on your face, like it just transformed. They're a similar idea to the Hourglass and you certainly don't need to do both, but I kind of love how sort of extra glowy my skin looks by using both. So it's a bit excessive and I realized that the... Oh, I can't talk like that. I realize that there's a lot of product on my face, but because they're all really sort of, you use everything quite minimally, and therefore everything like doesn't look too heavy. It's really when you overuse products that use too much of a single product that things start to look a little cakey. And all of these powders are so like finely milled and delicate that it doesn't really add weight to your skin, it just adds glow. Now one final step, of course you can go back in with a setting spray, I'll just go back in with my Max Fix Plus. It doesn't really set it from on top of the foundation, but it does help to just make everything look a little more dewy. So this is what it looks like all finished. Um, I've just put a very light sort of makeup look on. I think it definitely would look a lot better with like something a bit more dramatic, uh, either in the eyes or the lips. Um, but yeah, today I just chuck this on because... I don't know, I couldn't be bothered doing a full, a full eye look for you. But um, as you can see, my skin looks really like flawless, but it still has a real glow to it. There's still a lovely sort of sheen to the skin. It doesn't look heavy or cakey, but I did use quite a few products and some very, very full coverage products. I think the idea is just to use things very sparingly and only where you need them. So I put like a lot of coverage around some of the sort of scars and pimples that I have um, and just any sort of blemishes, but then kept it really light kind of, you know, like on my cheeks and stuff where I perhaps don't need as much coverage. So I hope you found today's tutorial really helpful and learned some new things or found out about some new products that you would like to try. Um, please give this video a thumbs up as well if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel because I do make two videos a week and I'd love to see you around here. Leave me a comment as well with any video requests or any thoughts um, on my routine or any suggestions or literally anything. I read all the comments and I do enjoy receiving them so it's awesome if you can comment your thoughts. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you then. Bye!